Now, hundreds of wildfires are filling the skies with smoke in the Canadian province of British Columbia. This has led to millions being put under air quality warnings. The wildfires, which analysts say are a result of climate change, increases concerns about the impact on human health. The fires have forced around 35,000 people to evacuate over the past four days. And now the smoke from British Columbia is drifting towards Alberta. Officials say it's been a difficult 24 hours in the province for frontline first responders and for firefighters. However, there seems to be no respite in the coming days. Although the road ahead is immense, still immensely challenging, we are fortunate that the weather forecast is more positive for most areas. There's also some rain possible for southern British Columbia in the coming days. Although it won't be the days of solid rain that we really need, it may be enough to allow fire crews to make more headway on the fires. Cooler temperatures, some rain, and less wind in the forecast, we remain hopeful while we continue to prepare for difficult conditions. Now, British Columbia's Minister of Forest said 386 wildfires were burning across the province and that over 3,500 personnel were directly engaged in the response efforts. Meanwhile, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau slammed Meta for blocking domestic news from its platforms and said that the organization was prioritizing profit over safety. Facebook made billions of dollars in profits over the past years, including off of Canadians. And we recently passed legislation that says, Facebook, if you're going to be sharing news or work done by Canadian journalists or local news, you have to make sure they're compensated for it fairly. Well, instead of making sure that local journalists are fairly paid for keeping Canadians informed on things like wildfires. Facebook is blocking news from its sites. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.